hey guys happy new year happy 2022 and welcome back to our channel hacks by banks i'm sasha and today we're going to show you how we move from this and this and turn it into this <sighs> So this is the long anticipated kitchen reveal video and I'll be walking you through how the kitchen looks now and also showing you some of the things that I like the most in the space. So I'll be giving you a tour of the kitchen, not really a tour, well yes a tour, a design tour. Um, I will be opening my drawers and showing you what's inside of all of them but we did make some really cool decisions when we were doing our kitchen. And so I'll be sure to show you all of the cool stuff that we did and all of the decisions that we made from a design, function, and also renovation perspective. So let's jump right in. And I'm going to start with something that a lot of you may already know. And if you don't know, then you need to go check out our channel. I want to talk about the island. So this is our DIY island. We did it from scratch. So we basically bought the cabinets and bought a piece of ply, put the cabinets together, put the ply on top, and then we epoxied it and put a design on the back. It was really, really simple. It was a pretty simple design. I'm not going to say it was easy because it took a lot of time and effort for us to complete. It's made up of three sets of drawers should I say that yes three sets of drawers um I think the measurements are 30 and 36 so it's two 30 inches and one 36 inch and um Roy was wondering what I was going to do with all of this storage but it has come in handy because a lot of the things that you normally see on the counter I know that you notice that our counter is bare a lot of the things that you normally see on the counter are stored away in these drawers until we actually need them to use. Um, one of the biggest things or one of my favorite drawers is the bread drawer or the snack drawer because usually you would have a bread pan on your counter. No, we decided that we wanted to have a snack drawer so we just stash everything in a drawer. Um, for other things like the toaster and the grill we have those in a drawer as well all pots and pans are in drawers and we just take them out whenever we need to use them um sometimes they stay out for longer than they need to because it's not convenient for us it's not always convenient for us to put it back to use it the next day however there is a designated drawer for all of those things in this space we do have a pantry and I need to do some organization, but it's pretty spacious and it holds most of the things that we need. Well, it holds everything that we need, not most, everything. It holds everything that we need um, on a daily basis or on the weekends or for cooking, whatever you name it. And we still have a little bit more space left. Um, I intend to do some organization in the kitchen spaces, like in the pantry and in the various drawers. And if you're interested in seeing something like that, then let me know. I'll do a video of it when I'm doing it so that you too can see how easy it is to, well, it's not easy, <laughs> fun maybe, to organize your pantry and your different spaces to maximize on the amount of space that you have. All right, so another space that, I mean, I love, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see this picture a lot. And it's the space behind me. I absolutely love the built-in vent that we did. Uh, we pretty much bought a vent from Active and built a casing, cut up the vent and installed it into the case. Close it up and paint it and you have our DIY vent. 
it's functional guys it's fully functional the light works the vent works um it uses a filter so we can simply just pull it out pull it down pull it out remove the filter and change it if we need to um me love it uh the little strip that you see on it is also uh, it was a last minute decision for us to put that strip on it um it matches back with the island and so we think that it's an awesome addition to sprouse it up it's not too fussy it's simple and it's modern it's right up our alley and so yeah we like it we love it uh we also decided to put in some shelves beside the vents and we mounted it using gold shelf mounts shelf brackets that we found on amazon and i'll leave a link below so you guys can go ahead and check it out you know me always give you know the details and leave the links for some of the cool affordable stuff that i find um if you like it you can go ahead and get it as well no problem with that they also have it in black and silver so depending on your style or the tones that you're going for then there is a variety so we did the shelves and <laughs> it's really a decor piece i mean i do use the things that are on the shelves um they're my serving bowls and a few other items that i use and i will change them around from time to time depending on how i feel right the next thing that is in this space that i think is really cool is our spice rack uh so in our previous kitchen we did put in a spice rack and when we moved here this kitchen also had a spice rack um, it's a pretty simple convenient way to get to anything that you need to get to and it's right beside the stove the placement is absolutely perfect um, and yeah everything is in here every almost everything that you need to cook is in this spice rack right here the next cool thing that's on this side of the kitchen is our bin when we were doing this kitchen we decided that we wanted to conceal the bin we didn't want the bin to be out in the open because i mean it can be a little bit unsightly and sometimes feel out of place so right off the bat we designated a cupboard <laughs> to our bin now it's not one of those fancy pull out covers like you know what a lot of the modern kitchens have no remember that we reuse the cabinets that were here before so we basically identified a cabinet that was that would fit into the space with the spice rack and made that our garbage cabinet yeah and we found a bin that fits it properly so that we can open and close it without any problems we also have our inline water heater in this cupboard now we found that um now we find that the inline water heater does not run up your bill because it only comes on when you need hot water it's an awesome find and it's an awesome thing to put into your home as well um they're sold at various places in kingston and in jamaica and also online so you can go ahead and check it out uh this one is a five source or six i don't quite remember but this one is a six source um and so it supplies up to six sources at any one time are some gibberish like that but ensure that if you're buying one when you're looking at it ensure that um the sources is sufficient for how many bathrooms kitchen laundry whatever source that you need to heat and use a water heater for so another cool feature in this space is a pot filler which i really like but i hardly use um it's pretty simple it's a pipe that fills the pot very bougie <laughs> But I really wanted it and um, having it is pretty convenient when I remember to use it another cool thing that we added to our kitchen was a beverage cooler uh, we were undecided about having a dishwasher or a beverage cooler and in the end we decided on a beverage cooler we thought that would have more use for it um, especially since it's just three of us uh, we don't have that many dishes at any one point in time so we should be able to manage it by hand as we have been doing for a while so we decided on the beverage cooler and it has been working out royal hasn't figured out how to open it as yet so it's been great so far so my 
favorite place is the tea bar i spend a lot of time at this station <laughs> or in this area of the kitchen but separate and apart from by the stove i spend a lot of time at the tea bar making baby formula and tea and more baby formula and baby formula baby formula right but it comes in very handy to have it separate and apart from everything else i don't have to put away these things i leave them out and then when i need to come and use them they're right there at my fingertip we try to keep the area as clean and as neat as possible um and there is a designated drawer for everything over here as well so we store the formula and everything else in the drawers below and i do have a few tea options um that i use well I, i'm a tea girl if you know me then you know that i love tea so this is my favorite place now i have i do have um some safety mechanisms put in in the kitchen um to prevent royal from opening some of the areas that we don't want him to get into i need to go and install it on everything however it works pretty well uh you probably saw me use it to open the garbage cabinet and i do have it for the rum the rum cabinet as well the liquor cabinet um it's magnetic and it's pretty easy to use once you install it you just use the magnet to open it and that's it some of the other things that we did in here that i really love are the ceilings rora and i did a whole diy kitchen ceiling series where we drywalled our kitchen ceiling um, and install the lights that you see we install some recess lights and we also install these pendant lights over the kitchen island um, it was not easy but it was damn worth it guys because guess what I love the final look I think we did a great job for a bunch of amateurs who have never done drywalling before um, Rory had me on the counter with drywall on my head top trying to ensure that we got it all together um, but yeah it worked out really well I love how the drywall turned out love how the ceilings turned out and I'm happy that we did it even though it was not easy it wasn't easy at all but um, it was as I said quite worth it so when we were finalizing some of the design things for the kitchen we weren't sure if we were going to put up curtains or blinds and if we were putting up blinds at the windows and the door then what type would it be etc and then i met a lovely young lady from saint lucia <laughs> my lovely friend um and on her instagram she has a tutorial of how she did roman shades for a bedroom and so i decided that maybe this is what we need to do and to find in the fabric we followed the tutorial made some tweaks of our own and made roman shades for all our windows so we we're able to trim the windows and add the shades and it really gives a lovely look to the kitchen um and to the space i'm happy that we didn't go with curtains for the space or any other type of blinds the roman shades are pretty easy to use and just like curtains we can take them down and wash them and put them up back so yeah i'm loving this so finally um we had this area completed we thought that the kitchen was done and to our liking and one morning Rory and i were sitting and having breakfast and i just said you know right here so just look incomplete which is over the this over the fridge that area by the fridge and the tea bar looked a little bit incomplete at the time we hadn't put um on the shades as yet because well that part we weren't sure if we were going to do shades or curtains to match the rest of the house because it's kind of a transition area um and then there wasn't a cabinet over the fridge which initially i thought that i would absolutely love and then we decided that you know it was a last minute decision but we decided that we'd go ahead and put in a cabinet and a panel so we simply went to our local cabinet supplier bought a prefab cabinet that would fit over the fridge and a panel that would go beside the fridge 
and installed it painted it that's that we did the roman shades for the windows and decided that we would just consider this space to be a part of the kitchen and not the living room and work with it like that so this last minute decision i think was a really awesome decision i love how it turned out and all in all it ties back the t-bar area into the kitchen space and everything came together so well So there you have it guys our long-awaited kitchen tour this is our a lot of the things that we did here were diy um we really enjoyed doing some of the things some of them were very challenging and not so much fun after a while especially the ceiling but it did work out and it paid off and it looks great well i love it and that's what's important <laughs> yes guys but i am sharing this we are sharing this with you to let you know that you know if you take your time and try to envision your space how you want it take your time and put it together you can get a space that is yours um you can get a fixer upper and make it completely yours exactly what you want exactly you know what you love so now that the kitchen is done i guess you're wondering what next well we do have a laundry list of pro projects and if you watched our previous video then you would have seen all of the things that we did last year and trust me we have a lot to do this year as well we have two and a half bathrooms to complete we have some bedrooms to complete not to mention the living room dining room and a sitting area that I think I want for now but um, let's take it one project at a time. We'll be sharing all of those goodies here. And this year we'll also be doing a little bit more in terms of videos and what we share. We'll be doing questions and answers as well. So if you have any questions, then ask away because I am sure that if you have the question, somebody else would have the question as well. And we'll just try and do some of those videos to let you guys to answer the questions um, so everybody can get the answers. We will also be doing um, budget breakdowns for different spaces and you know, just to share how much it costs for us to do certain spaces. All right guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
um, leave a comment below let us know what you think about the work that we're doing let us know if there's anything else that we can share with you guys on the work that we're doing and we will be happy to make a video and share it because if you are asking then it's possible that others want to know as well like I always say we're just trying to inspire people to get a fixer up and make it your own it's not impossible in Jamaica um, and if you don't think you're handy trust me once you try one thing you just need one project to get you off the ground and then you'd be surprised at how much you can actually do with these all right guys well thank you for watching and be safe out there see you next time bye